I've got a package. Now this was ordered four days ago from Japan and it's here in New Zealand. So let's open the box and see what's inside. As always, my trusty meat cleaver. Oh, hang on, I better take out the documentation. Oh, two of them. Now I also have a camera up there and have a camera over there as well. So we'll try and get as many angles as possible. So. Actually, I'll, I'll do it away from my face. Might be safer. Now, if you're buying something secondhand, i.e. a camera like this, buy it from Japan. You can't go wrong. The quality of the stuff out there is amazing. Now, I haven't looked at this yet, so <laughs> I'm hoping I'm right. Now, Ooh. Hold on a moment. That is so well packed. That's amazing. Right, how do I get into it? Oh yeah. Hang on. Ow. Okay. That wasn't a good idea. Right. As you can see, it's a Nikon F5. Now, why on earth did I buy a Nikon F5? Because this is the greatest film camera ever made. This blew away any other camera when this was introduced in 1996 at the Atlanta Olympics actually this came out now that makes this camera over 20 years old yes it's a film camera but it's an amazing film camera so let's open the box huh, don't work I've got broken bubble wrap this particular camera is actually a 1998 model so that makes it exactly 20 years old. So what have we got in the box? Okay. I have the manual. Um, wow. We have its original price tag, I think. Was it original? Maybe not. What's 325,000 yen? Maybe that's not its original price tag. We have its original certificate. Uh, the manual and there's a warranty card. Wow, that's um, that's incredible. Next strap. Do the box up. Wow, that's heavy. Put that there. Can't see it. Uh, put that out of the way. Okay. Wow, the seller was correct. It's in new condition. Wow, that's in really good condition. It's like brand new. The great thing with this camera, it actually uses AA batteries. So there's eight of them going there and they will last you literally forever on this camera. And this was the last of the great Nikons that did this. I'm trying to remember how to do this now. It came apart, the prisms came off. Now this prism is really clean actually. There's, there's no mold, no fungus in there. You do have to be careful with old Nikon cameras that sometimes these prisms actually get mold inside, but this is clean. The focusing screen is spotless as well. So that goes on and then lock in. So to open up the actual back of the camera, you flip that switch, pull that, and then bang, opens up. And look at that. It still has its original card inside. Do not touch, press, prick, or scratch the shutter curtain, as this may hamper its functions. Please remove the sheet before using the camera. And it even has on the front its original Nikon F5 body cap. So as I just showed you, the actual viewfinder is removable. You push in a pin at the back, 
pull it off, and there you go. And you can actually add different viewfinders on this. Now, this was the last of the Nikon cameras that could do this. After this, they stopped. You can get a sports AE viewfinder, and there was also a waist level viewfinder, and I think there was a magnifying viewfinder as well, which would magnify whatever you see. So again, these just go on. The nice thing with this, you can keep it clean. So, put that on, and then it just locks into place, done. Now, another great thing with these cameras is especially the F4, the F5, and the F6, they work with these, all of the G-series lenses. They all work perfectly with this autofocus and are amazing with this particular camera. That's why I've got it, because it has the grip. I like my vertical grips. This has one built in, and this is just a beautiful camera. I've used one before, um, and I've owned them before, and then I've sold them, but that's another story. Um, this one I bought for myself. This is also for a little project which I'll tell you about at the end of the video um, because I'm gonna start doing more reviews outdoors. Now the batteries, like I said, it takes eight batteries. So, like this, and... Now, if you're gonna use rechargeable batteries, use any loops. These things last forever and they're really good batteries. Don't buy the cheap rechargeable batteries. So, that one goes in there. And then we put that one in there. It takes eight batteries. If you want to get into film photography, the F5 is a great camera for that because it's basically like a digital camera. The matrixing on this, the autofocus, is all modern and it is really, really good. The other two cameras that I would recommend Nikon is the F100 and the F6. The F6 is still quite expensive at the moment. I paid $500 for this camera, which is relatively cheap. In that goes, like that. Okay, straight away. So we'll put on a lens. Let's put on the 105 1.4. When you turn the camera on, you can't flick the switch, you notice. Unlike most Nikon, just flick it. There's actually a button here, you push down, and then you turn it on. So you can't actually turn the camera on. That focus is really nice. And the screen is absolutely perfect. It's so bright and clear. I've got a good camera. And again, like I said, if you're gonna buy a second-hand camera, if you can, buy it from Japan. I'm not gonna say every camera from Japan is perfect, but you know most of the time you're gonna get a good camera and they're actually very, very helpful. If you get any problems with it, they return it. Most of the sellers on eBay are really good. The one person I would recommend though, if he's got the camera you want, or if you're looking for a particular camera, is Bellamy Hunt, Japan Camera Hunter, or JCH, some people know him. I'll put a link to his website down below. Now he has a lot of really good quality secondhand camera gear, and he's reliable, and you know you're getting quality. But if there's something you want, contact him, because he can always find it for you. That's why he's called Japan Camera Hunter. So we're going to put a roll of film in there now. Now, to put a roll of film in, it's quite easy. Again, you just flick the lever, pull that, and pop it open. Film. Ah, we're putting some Ilford. Why not? Okay, quite easy to put a roll of film in. You actually slide it under like that, so it comes the bracket. You pull that across, so it lines up like that with the teeth. Very easy. Close it. Now, we're gonna shoot this at eight frames a second. So um, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that's it. It's actually 38, it's saying on there, but it was a 36 roll. So all you do, okay, you're gonna lift up this, you push this button down, you pull, push that button, do that. Can you hear it? Done. I know, I've just wasted a roll of film, but hey, I wanted to show you guys eight frames a second. Again, you just, there's a little lever here on top. This here, you push it in, pull it up. And there you go, as easy as that. That's why this camera is so good. People forget about the F5 because it's a big tank of a camera. This thing will outlast any digital camera. I don't think my D850 and my D5s will be still going in 20 years time. This is still going. And you don't have to worry about megapixels because it shoots film. As I said earlier, there is a reason why I got the F5. Well, actually there's several reasons. Um, part of the reason is this is brand new. It's never been used and it's a beautiful camera. Um, like I said, this is 20 years old. Now, the next video I'm gonna be doing is actually a review video of two of my lenses, the 105 1.4 and the 58mm 1.4. Um, these are both portrait lenses and they're quite unique lenses with Nikon. Most people shoot an 85 or 50mm, 
but these are quite unique and I like the look from these lenses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these two lenses up against each other um, in a portrait session. Not going to go out and shoot a brick wall or a tree or a Lego man, I'm actually going to shoot a real human being because that's what these lenses are designed for. And what I thought I would do is also shoot some black and white film. I'll shoot it on the D850, but I'll also shoot some film. So you can see what the quality of these lenses are with film. So that's the idea. So remember to subscribe because that video will be coming soon. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon.